Hinch, uh, FA Cup weekend around the corner again, back at home this time for an All Sussex FA Cup tie. How much are you looking forward to it? Hopefully in front of a big crowd here at Woodside. No, yeah, it should be a, a, a great game to look forward to. Um, you know, Wild Curve uh, got a lot of experience and you know players that we'll um, know very well. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's one that you can't take lightly. But like I say, it's the kind of game you want to look forward to. Um, you know, it's a chance to potentially get a, a big game, a, a National League club to come in in the next round and you definitely want to be in that draw and um, I'm sure what could be no different um, coming into the game. So yeah, it's one that you look forward to having a, a home fixture, um, you know, is always good and you know, we we'll really look forward to it. Like I say, there's, hopefully there's a big crowd and um, yeah, these are, these are games we want to be part of. And what are you expecting from Whitehawk as an opposition? No, it's extremely sort of well organised. Obviously, Sean's, you know, had countless success uh, in Sussex football over the years. Um, you know, so obviously knows his stuff, and um, yeah, I think it'd be quite similar to uh, you know a National League South game to be honest. Um, you know, in terms of quality and in terms of organisation, there won't be too much difference. So yeah, it's not it's not a game that we'll um, take lightly at all. And like I say, we know we have to perform better than what we did um, in previous previous uh, ties and previous games to get anything from it. So yeah, one that we'll look forward to because it's a home game and it's a, it's a local derby, but yeah, one that you, you can't take lightly and start thinking that you're just going to be in the next round. Um, so a real, t real tough tie for us in terms of that, in terms of quality and um, yeah, one that, you know, no doubt they'll be coming to look to win as well. Both teams will be looking to win and that always makes for a good cup tie. Coming off the back of a disappointing defeat last time out, you've expressed your frustrations on that one already. Are you expecting a reaction from the boys this weekend after a good week in training? Um, yeah, like I say, I don't think, like I say, box to box, even watching the game back, um, looking at all the stats from the game and, and analyse it like we do. Um, you know, it's, it's not a great deal there to, to I know it sounds stupid after losing four 0 but to um, you know put right, it's it's a bit of organisation from a long ball, um, certain decisions from one or two as well, and just maybe a little bit of desire and um, in terms of defending our box from certain players as well. But um, yeah, that's all it is, um, and hopefully you know what we've shown them. Um, the players will, will take that on board and, and look to impl implement um, like they do and I say they've got a, a real good group here and they seem to take things on board when, when you work on it with them so we're hoping that would be no different this week and we can you know try and try and put it right and come up with a good performance on Saturday. Looking at the team, uh, you've obviously we've announced today one notable departure in uh, Reese Meekins, who's gone on a dual registration to Horsham. Um, how's the team looking? Okay, uh, first of all, I guess comments on Reese Meekins' move. No, yeah, just um, you know, like I said, um, um, with my like, sort of quote on on it, really, it just made perfect sense for everybody. Uh, he needs some games. Horsham wanted to take him and, and give him that game time, so um, seems like a no-brainer. Um, you know what? A, unbelievable uh, servant he's been to the club so far and you know, I'm, sure, I'm certain he, he still can be uh, moving forward but you know, at this moment in time we've got other players in sort of his position and they've done okay and done, done alright and you'd have to be patient and you know I just think we need our players to be up and, and running and when you've got a big squad it's hard when you haven't got um, another team to, to give them game time and uh, you know it's when you've got Horsham um, who, who want to sort of take him and then give him that game time. It just made perfect sense and you know what a great character he's been in and around the change room. We will miss that. There's no question about that. Um, but you know they're, they're gaining that for a month and yeah we'll just um, speak to Miki regular, we'll speak to Don regular uh, and see how it's working out and you know if there's a case where we need him back and he's going to get regular minutes with us, then to have him in a, a place where he's, he's match fit would you know just, just serve everyone well. So a um, bit of a no-brainer on that front. And in terms of the rest of the injuries, I think it's all looking pretty good really, pretty good clean bill of health. Um, a day he's going to miss out this weekend, um, he's just gone back to, back to Spain. Um, 
got family sort of wedding or, or something going on this weekend. So, you know, he's, he's got to spend some time with the family this weekend. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, everyone to, to choose upon. And um, yeah, we, like I say, got no, no complaints and any injuries or anything like that. But clean bill of health, everyone raring to go and everyone will want to be, be playing and putting on the shirt for, for this game.